construction of a cycloid. We will be constructing a cycloid of diameter 60. A cycloid of diameter 60. So the very first thing is to pick my compass after producing the vertical and horizontal line. Measure radius what? Radius 30. And do use radius 30 with my compass. Then I'm going to what? draw the base. Yeah, the base for my cycloid. Right. Okay, so after doing that, we divide this circle into what, 12 equal halves, right? Okay, so if you don't know how to divide the circle into 12 equal halves, just check our YouTube page. We have a tutorial video on how to divide a circle into 12 equal parts, all right? So after dividing your circle into 12 equal parts, you do the numbering. So I'm going to use 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, then 0 over 12. So, having done that, the next procedure is to pick your divisor and step it off 12 times on this center line. Okay, so this is a divisor. Yeah, this is a divisor. Stepping it off 12 times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 11, and 12 right so after doing that you slide in your t square then you draw horizontal line yeah you draw horizontal line connecting the points together you take note that points 1 and 11 line on the same plane 2 and 10 line on the same plane up to what 5 and 7 so i'm going to do that now Okay, so I haven't drawn the horizontal line all through. The next procedure is to uh, draw the vertical lines here. The vertical lines along those parts which you mark earlier on. Draw vertical lines along them, all right? So starting from here, I'm going to draw it. Okay, so I haven't drawn the last part. Then you do the numbering at the bottom also. So this area is what? 1, 10, 2, 11, then mark 12. So having done that, the next procedure is to uh, go back to your circle, pick its radius, the radius of that circle, yeah, which is radius 30. After picking the radius of that circle, you place it at the midpoint, yeah, of the vertical line of one. Yeah, this is the midpoint of vertical line of what of one. Okay, placing it there, I'm going to draw my what my circle. Yeah, I'm drawing another circle. All right. So wherever this circle touches the horizontal line of one, you know I'm drawing a vertical line of one. Wherever it touches the horizontal line of one, I'm going to what asteric it. I'm going to asteric it. All right. Then I'm going to go to the vertical midpoint of what of point two, which is here. All right. In the same radius of the circle, I'm going to produce. So wherever it touches the horizontal line of uh, point two, I'm going to what asteric also. That's circle for two. So I'm uh, applying the same principle to. Uh, vertical midpoint of point theory, all right. So I'm going to what, draw my circle. So anyway, it touches the horizontal line of point theory. I'm going to what? I'm going to what? Asteric it, which is what? Yeah. Then doing the same thing for uh, vertical midpoint of point four. All right. So wherever it touches the horizontal line of point four, I'm going to what? Asteric it. So I am repeating this same procedure throughout, then for point five. All right, so this is where it touches it. Then point six. Okay, so this is where it touches uh, point six at the top here, all right? So, point seven. Okay, so this way it touches the vertical line of what of seven. You can see five and seven. So, this way it touches the horizontal line of what of point seven. Then, on point eight. So this way it touches the horizontal line of what point eight four and eight on point nine.
this way it touches the horizontal line of what of point nine. Then on point ten. So this way it touches the horizontal line of what of point ten. You can see two and ten. All right. On point eleven. Okay, so this way it touches the horizontal line of what eleven. You can see one and eleven. Then on point twelve. Okay, you can see. So our uh, point twelve is what at the base here, while our point zero is at the base here. So what we have left is what pick our French curve or flexible curve and trace out the point. Yeah, the point of the cycloid. Okay, so that's it. This is our what this is our cycloid. Yeah, this is the point which the cycloid actually makes on that part. Thank you.